Hello dancers and welcome back to the Dance Academy YouTube channel. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at the naturally talented, but easily bored and up to no good, Grace Whitney. Grace is Miss Rain's goddaughter and she visits the National Academy of Dance from London at the start of Tara & Co's second year. She very quickly establishes herself as a talented dancer. I've been trying to convince Grace to get back into ballet. Perhaps you'll have more luck. New people. I've been under house arrest for the last month. What did you do? My dad's getting remarried and I upset the stepmothers. And I grew up here, so... So, when she danced in London, it was the Royal Ballet School. I'm glad she's not staying. Although she was only meant to be visiting, it turns out that she is staying in Sydney. Abigail finds out why and confronts Grace, and for the first time, we get to see the underneath the sweet exterior that Grace presents. They cancelled my credit cards. Dad's always one step ahead. So you're staying? For now. I know what happened in London. You're seriously sitting in the dark. And I'm guessing Miss Rain doesn't know. Otherwise she would never have let you into the academy. Really? You're a safety hazard, Grace. So why don't you go upstairs, flush your creepy little fish, book a taxi and I'll leave your reputation intact. Miss Rain is my godmother and the principal. Of course she knows. So give me the summary. I got expelled for giving a girl a nervous breakdown. Tell who you like. I don't need to feel popular. Neither do I. After this, Abigail and Grace develop an odd friendship full of rivalry, and Abigail shows her the ropes at the academy. In return, Grace shows her some of the mischief that she gets up to, and we see just how easily lying comes to her. Some days it's infantile. Seriously, she's your big threat. Don't be fooled by the naive country bumpkin act best part of her partner and the assistant choreographer both succumbed. Basically, she owes her status to Pashrash. There's only one rule. We get everything for free. Help! Someone help! My friend's collapsing! What are you doing? My friend is collapsing? Go with me! Please, anyone! This is an emergency! Is she okay? My friend Hermione gets super low blood sugar. Don't try to be brave, Hermione, honey. This man is going to help us. Ooh, what does she need? Oh, I'll call an ambulance. There, there's no time. If she doesn't get something sweet immediately, she'll go into shock. OK, stay right here. Oh, I'll be back. Organic chocolate only. Faster! I could kill you. Sweating forehead, wide eyes, racing pulse. Abby, I think you just had fun. That was the least amount of fun I've ever had in my entire life. So what's next? Despite how well the pair initially hit it off, the rivalry minutes? between Just them and one like very specific not. difference in their attitude towards dance He's means earnest. their friendship begins Sorry. to sour. Need and realising this, Grace starts to make moves well, against good. Abigail and she becomes friends with Tara, who she had previously been quite mean to. But I don't care about being the best. <laughs> everyone cares about being the best. I'm not everyone. So I've had some thoughts on our curry assessment. Ow. Grace, it's due in two days. I've been working on a solo with Ethan. Another one? There, see? It's all there underneath. You just have to strip back the layers. Ah, oh, subtext. Hey, Grace. The chemistry in this room, out of control. I literally have goosebumps. Sorry about before. Huh? The whole teasing you and Abigail. Totally juvenile. Uh, don't worry about it. Projection. Excuse me? I think that's what it's called. When you accuse someone of feeling a certain way, but it's actually you who has those feelings. Abby, wait! Abby! I have no idea what just happened. 
I was talking to Ethan, trying to suss out what was going on with you guys, and then his tongue was down my throat. Okay, I'm gonna go out on a limb here. This is about Grace launching herself at me the other day, isn't it? She wasn't the one doing the launching, Ethan. Someone's playing games here, Abigail. It's not me. Oh, Christian would be so embarrassed watching this. He always has to be just too cool, you know? Like, he's too cool to talk about what happened. They're amazing. Thanks so much for putting us on the door. I didn't. I thought you guys bought tickets. You texted Christian about it. Whoever it was, it wasn't me. It was Kat. Uh, excuse me? You've been texting Christian all night. How would you know? Thank you, Abigail. Sorry, what? Want to check her phone? Why, why have you been texting Christian? Last night was fun. Yeah. You did a good job getting rid of Kat. She deserved it. She lied to Tara's face. So it was all for Tara. <laughs> it kind of seemed like you're out to get cut the moment she hijacked your night. Judgment abs. Really? You've done a lot worse. Only to get ahead of the academy. Not for fun. I always knew she was competitive. I just didn't think it would affect our friendship. She's been better lately. Almost chilled. <laughs> For Abigail. She was, but with the pre coming up, makes me sound paranoid, but it's like she's out to get me. Daddy, it's me calling to say congrats on the latest evil spawn gestating in womb five. I'm totally buying you guys a present. Just as soon as you increase my credit limit, like we talked about. Weird. I thought these had more life in them. You get them for free at the Royal. Nice little shoemaker. Looks like a wizard. These are broken as well, and I've only just sewn the ribbons on. Yeah, mine too. I guess Abigail's are okay. Why are you sitting here? We were gonna hang out. All of my point shoes are broken, all of Grace's point shoes are broken, and I want to believe that you've changed, but... <laughs> Why would I have broken your point shoes? Well, who else would? Grace would. But you wouldn't believe me, would you? Grace is the least competitive person here, and she's hardly gonna break her own shoes. So that's me one, and you nil. And I'm still only in second gear. Come on, Abs, let's hug it out and make up now. I miss you. Grace, you're whack. And I'm rising above. Enjoy round two. Abigail, may I speak with you? Outside. So I've been told I have to apologize. Actually, I am sorry for hiding your costume last year and for the way I acted when we first met. Hey, Rumi. I arrive eager and ready to carry your boxes. So, um, where's my apology? She'll work you out. Grace's meddling and frequent lying to get ahead doesn't stop, but she's generally quite settled for a while at the Academy. I think they mean powerful, life-defining moments, like the rage I felt when I was blackmailed to leave the Royal Ballet. I didn't know that happened. Or the desperation when I tried to save the kids next door from drowning. Grace is a natural at ballet. She has the perfect body type for it and has had world-class training since she was young. So she gets bored quite easily in class. Great job, Abs. You nearly got it. I'll see you after class. But I was only keeping warm like you said. You knew what you were doing to Abigail and it was destructive. I outdance everyone and you ignore me. What kind of teacher are you? The others are trying and you rub their nose in how easy it is for you. How little you care. You're right, you have enormous natural ability. But Grace, these games you play, I don't find them interesting. 
Zach! You don't know me. Dancing, I find it easy and I get bored. Well, then you should probably do something else. It's the only thing I'm good at. And I do care about it. Really? I think so. Grace, I have no idea what's real and what's fake with you. A lot of the time, neither do I. All right. Then maybe you need to be challenged more. You want my attention? Then don't waste it. During these private lessons, Grace misunderstands Zack's intentions, and this time, her lies aren't enough to get her out of it. I could be Tink. You would be perfect for Tinkerbell. I know. Um, it's kind of earmarked. Zack basically offered it to me. And how does that work? I think he might be having a Lolita moment. Don't even joke about that. Zack's old and married, and it would be totally wrong and gross. And fictional. At least you're here. Whoa, Grace. What? I won't tell anyone. There's nothing to tell. I'm your teacher, you're my student. Then why have you been giving me all this special attention? Grace, I want to be very clear. Whatever you think is going on is only happening in your head. Grace? You okay? You were right about the whole thing with Zach. I just, I didn't realize how wrong it was um, until, what? He tried to kiss me. Come here. If you're sure what happened really happened. Trust me, it was pretty blatant. Then you have to talk to someone about it. Zach made a mistake. I'm not gonna ruin his career over it. I'm busy, Tara, is it important? It's about Grace. What is he doing here? Lucy, can I talk to you? Just us? Grace, Tara came to me because she was worried about you, about what you said happened with Zach. What I said, I told you it's what happened. Zach and I have spoken and he said how you got confused and tried to- I'm the victim here. Grace, it's okay. We're all here because we want to help you. How could you take his side? I trusted you. Are you okay? I just talked to dad. In 38 hours, he'll be picking me up from Heathrow. And I'll be reinstalled in the North Wing with the Step Rats. All right, now. At the Nationals, I'll let you win. After leaving the Academy, Grace makes a surprise reappearance dancing for the UK at the Prix de Fontaine competition where she takes on Tara directly and wins. What do you think? The look on your face, T. You know how much that solo means to me. So, why aren't you performing it in the internationals? Oh, right, because you could never do it properly. Why are you doing this? Don't be that naive. I was there for you through Saskia, through Kat, and you betrayed me. Feel special. I had to move mountains so that I could come back and take away what you want most. Which is? I'm going to win the Prix de Fontaine, doing your solo, and you're going to watch. Technically and artistically perfect. And yet... Grace has never felt a genuine human emotion in her life. And it shows. Grace won the internationals in the title of best in the world. But she was wrong. Winning was never what I wanted most. As pre-champion, Grace can choose any dance school in the world to train at. It humility. I choose the academy. She learns the hard way that her actions in the previous year is not going to make it easy for her to reconnect with the others. An hour 
hour late. It's not fashionable. It's rude. What is wrong with you? You didn't tell me when to be here. But sure, my fault. You know this whole inclusion thing you're attempting? I'd give it up. Grace, Tara has been begging everyone to give you another chance since the start of the year. Has <laughs> she? Such a saint. I came back this year because I thought... I don't know what I thought, but it really is going to be fun watching you tear each other apart to get a contract. Kisses. On their third year tour, Grace gets the lead role in Romeo and Juliet. She's opposite Ben, who is playing Romeo. Tara and Ben are dating during well, third year, and Grace's antics make it difficult for Tara, who is so cast well, as Grace's understudy, me, not to rise to her antagonism. Hey! Hope I'm not intruding. Love bowling. I brought a four. Oh, someone's a bad loser. No, it's been super fun. I'm so glad you invited yourself. Training bra, can't be fun. Yeah, don't get all twisty. Grace and I really did need a bond. You don't even realise she's manipulating you. OK, uh, let's play again, and you might have more fun if you try this time. She gets in serious trouble on the tour and gets herself arrested and sent home in disgrace. I am not going to jail. I'm too pretty. Whoa. Morning, Bob. Officer, there a problem? Apart from fight law 735C, no dancing in the fountain, where's my trout? Bob, you know I'm a fish lover. This is all just a big misunderstanding. I bet you won the challenge back in 93, hey, Zach? Miss Rain will meet your bus this afternoon. Zach, it wasn't just Grace. Ben. I thought you were sick. Grace made her choices. You're actually sending me home? Is your authority so tenuous you need to make an example of big bad Grace? I didn't want this. This tour won't be the same without me. Once back at the academy and without her classmates, Grace comes to rely on her relationship with her godmother, Miss Rain. And she tries to get Miss Rain and an old friend of hers, Marcus, in a relationship. But when it actually works out, Grace gets upset. And at first, we aren't sure why. Grace, what happened? <laughs> uh, third years, I'd like to introduce Marcus Kane, artistic director of the Austin Ballet. <laughs> Is Marcus single? Divorced, I believe. How is that relevant? We're old friends. We haven't seen each other in years. No, 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 Grace, hang Stop up. It. Stop it. No, hang up. Hang up. Oh. Hello, Lucinda Rain. Oh, no, you're right, Marcus. I called you. <laughs> oh, Grace. Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> we were about to come to find you. We uh, wanted you to be the first to know. Marcus, you put a ring on it's it. It's all just happening now. We haven't figured out the details yet. <laughs> Grace has had a difficult past, which doesn't excuse, but goes a long way to explaining her behaviour and abandonment issues. I got kicked out of class. All this domestic change must be acting out. There's no one like your mum. I can't tell you some of the things she'd get me to do. <laughs> Dad said she was depressed. I remember her lying in bed. Dad Towards the end of her final year, the acceptance, but also accountability from her classmates and Miss Rain do a lot to break Grace out of the cycle of lying, but she doesn't get a contract with the company because of it. Crazy. At any moment, I could fall off a balcony. Another euphemism. Like my mother. We've decided not to offer you a contract at this time. Obviously, you are a tremendous talent. But my philosophy is that a harmonious environment is more conducive to creating good work than the quality of the individual dancers. You're saying I don't play nicely with others? Or that you don't want to work with me? Or both? After the realisation that she hasn't got a contract sinks in, Grace has to reevaluate some things. You could also be like me. You didn't ever really want this in the first place. You just decided you should want it. And she decides to give up dancing with a final farewell. Kat did me a massive favour. I figured if I was saying goodbye to ballet, I wanted to make it a good one. Grace. Whew. Grace had quite the up and down journey at the Academy. 
Although she caused a lot of trouble, I think the gang really helped her to start to figure herself out in the end. That's all for our look into Grace. What dancer should we deep dive into next time? Don't forget to like the video and comment down below, and we'll catch you next time on the Dance Academy YouTube channel.